I'm in the process of starting this little renovation project. Way for me to dip my toes into solar and electrical power system. Bauer hammer drill there. I thought it was gonna make it a little bit easier. Guys, call for help. Hi guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show and uh, this is gonna be a multi-part series here. I'm doing a uh, backup system, solar backup system with battery power pack uh, by Blue Eddy. And uh, I'm in the process of uh, starting this little renovation project. And if you remembered, I did have from our RV, uh, I had a pallet here delivered to our house, I believe eight solar panels on a pallet. And uh, so I took two, and they're 400 watts each. I took two and mounted up on our RV uh, last year, I believe it was, and they're working great. So that was a way for me to dip my toes into solar and electrical power systems. Uh, just working on a small system like that on our RV. And now I've built up the courage. I'm gonna go ahead and use our Blue Eddy here that I ordered a couple years ago on a Kickstarter campaign. This Blue Eddy AC 500, 5,000 watts. And with the 3,072 watt hour battery, the B300S battery that connects to this to give it some superpowers. And last year, if you remember, I purchased this. This is the AC 200 Max by Blue Eddy. And I might be using this in combination uh, to collect the solar and recharge these two batteries. But this one right here, we take in our RV when we go out on RV trips, on long RV trips. But I could easily disconnect it from our home system if I need to take a trip away and still have this connected. And I've got two transfer switch boxes I'm gonna be installing into our 200 uh, amp uh, fuse panel system here one on each panel i'm going to have a, a a transfer switch that the blue eddy will plug into and give certain circuits power so i want to have this like as a uh not only backup but partial power uh to save money uh from the grid so that's my goal uh my ultimate goal down here i'm i've got to get the uh solar power wires down through here and I chose to use one and a half inch PVC schedule 40 pipe and I'm going to spray paint that as well to blend in with the house I've already pre spray painted some of them but I've got 125 foot of this uh, these lines coming in there's four total lines that's why I chose um, I chose the uh, one and a half inch I thought it would make it easier and it was really surprisingly easy and I now in hindsight uh, to make this a little bit less noticeable, I should have went with one inch, uh, seeing how easy it was to pull these four wires through. So, and it runs down through the house over here, and I'll show you what I got going on in the backyard. And we're back. So like I told you, this is gonna be multi-part solar, uh, partial battery backup to your your residence uh, video series. And uh, I've started installing these brackets. By, uh, what is it? Signature solar, aluminum bracket assemblies. And you can connect these together and hold four panels. I've got them separated so that I can move them around easier. And I'm going to build a wood sleigh type system for this to make them uh, easily adjustable. So it's not just going to be sitting like this. These are going to be sitting up off the ground so that the landscapers can trim and mow under and around them real easy. I've got our PVC pipe coming up here. I haven't finished that. I'm going to have a 4x4 four four coming up here uh, that will distribute the wires. But I've already got it buried here. And then it comes up above ground here but I will come back and bury this shortly after I just want to make some progress early on in the beginning and that wraps all the way around like I said I'm gonna paint it this part is painted already it's like an elephant gray kind of more to match your household 
and it comes up around this corner here. Kind of just squeeze it in be beside our propane tank and all the way out there. So this is a new project for me and hoping that it interests a lot of people. Maybe you want to follow along with me. Maybe you want to leave some comments in the comment section below. Any tools uh, or products that I use in this uh, series of videos, I'll leave in the video descriptions of this video, the links for them, so that if you want to try to do something similar to this, uh, you'll go ahead, you can go ahead and click on those links and uh, maybe do some research of your own. You don't have to buy the same product, but maybe uh, you want to do research and find something similar or comparable or smaller or bigger in size. So this is where I'm at right now. I've got, I've been trying to drill through here and I bought a hammer drill, this Bauer hammer drill from Harbor Freight using my other all powers battery pack to go ahead and give me power out here so I don't have it run a long extension cord. I've got my stool out here to sit on, my shop back by Ryobi. And uh, making progress, I just got a little bit of a clunk of concrete inside there. And I'm trying to get out so that this pipe will fit all the way through. Right now it's, it's hitting a clump of concrete. So I've almost got that done. And then I gotta run it around the corner here and it will come out on this side right there. And I've cut our faux stone here so the pipe will fit underneath there and come all around here. And I'm going to have to today drill another hole with my hammer drill through this way. And uh, see, this is our power right here going through here. So we're going to come in somewhere over here when it comes around the corner and come out in this corner inside the garage. And then we can tap into everything here and give us some power. Alright guys, I am down here trying to get this hammer drill through there from so this uh, pipe can go right in this side. So it's about, I don't know, eight inches. I gotta get through this block right here. Six to eight inches there. Thick, and I guarantee you, since this is a corner. That's probably got concrete. It's just, I can tell, it's just thick all the way through. Nothing but concrete. So it's not like a hollowed out concrete block in that area right there. So I've been working on that. So I'll give you an idea. So I got, like I said, that Bauer hammer drill there. SDS drill bits. <clears throat> and if you go to Home or uh, Harbor Freight, that's where I got it. I got several... SDS drill bits here, so this is going to make uh, this. Uh, I thought it was going to make it a little bit easier. I got different size drill bits. If one gets dull, I try a different size, and I got these other kind of hammer bits right here. Masonry chisel set. So that's what I'm using, and I'm going to take this and I'm going to take, I'm going to take all these over here, <clears throat> and I'll show you how this is going. Now this is. I mean, this project consists of a little bit of construction, a little bit of electrical, a little bit of math. I mean, everything all in one in this solar project right here for my Blue Eddy and uh, giving me partial electric to my panels. So let's see if we can uh, get this hole done. I can see daylight now. That's a promising sign.
Guys, call for help. Just kidding. This is a nasty job here. I can't wait till I'm done with this step. This, this step, the stage of the solar process. It's a tough one. Check this out. I got it. Right there. Nice. Check the other side. Nice. Coming through. Woo wee. Now I'm, I got some great stuff. I'm gonna spray around that opening there. I'll just spray some great stuff around here before I paint and then uh, cut it off smooth with a razor knife. That great stuff, that filler foam on both sides. Now that's not the pipe that's going through there. I'm just using that to make sure I got my measurement right. I'm gonna use a long pipe like this. Go straight through. And when I come through on this side, I'm gonna use this, I think, uh, LB box. So that's gonna connect down here. Oh, that's gonna be tight too. Oh well, this has got some play in it. Yeah, I have to come up a little bit there. Have this LB box there. And then have it come up here with the PV wires solar cables and then I have an end cap that comes up here weatherproof end cap uh, where they'll come out and they'll go into a switch box just emergency switch box so we can emergency disconnect if we want so let me get all this connected and get the wires out and I got to go pick up the Home Depot I had to order those uh, caps weatherproof caps one for in here in the garage and one for out back underneath my solar panels to keep it all weatherproof so no water leakage gets down into our conduit. So I'll do that next. All right, I got it. I got the LB connector right there. I got a piece cut off for when I get the uh, top cap connector. I'll show you that tomorrow. I got to pick it up at Home Depot. Those were special orders for my one and a half inch PVC pipe in installation. So I got the cords run out there and everything's going in here. And the great stuff I got was missing the little nozzle and uh, pressure adapter. So I'm gonna go back to Home Depot. I'll get a couple more cans of that and uh, I'll get that in there and get it nice and smooth and finished off. And uh, now here it is. Here's the uh, PVC pipe running. I put my gutter uh, downspout back on so it blends right in with that and I was able to put my ladders back today as well so there we go now doing a partial home uh, solar system has been a goal of mine for I guess probably the last three years that's when two years ago I ordered that pallet of solar panels that's when I got real serious into it and I was like all right I did all the research and I said all right let me let me go ahead and do this if I can get partial uh, backup and just a constant partial backup to save on our utility bills because our utility bills believe it or not now are they average around 850 to 900 dollars a month on this big home here so uh yeah we got a lot of stuff running we got computers internet tvs like everybody else but still that's a lot and uh this was built in I think 2007 so it should have you know pretty good installation insulation and stuff in the attic I don't know what's going on but I'm gonna try to supplement it with our uh, we're gonna have six solar panels to start out with and I've got uh, the signature solar rack a second set coming in uh, should be here tomorrow so I can fit two more panels on uh, the other half of that rack that comes in tomorrow so I'll have a total of eight when I get it final right now I'm gonna have a total of six 400 watt panels to start off with because I'm such a uh, you know a regular homeowner guy amateur I don't know how much power it's gonna put out or how much power I can save overnight in the batteries that we have here in the, with the blue eddy overnight until the Sun comes back again to supplement it with our solar power panels so 
this is all new to me. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you got any suggestions. This is the, uh, the beginning of my project here. And uh, I would love to have feedback on it. And I'd love to know if you're interested, but you want to see a normal guy like me try to do it first before you become a sucker. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, uh, follow back up with me. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to, you know, stick with you guys until this whole little project is completed. And then we can test it out in the end and see, is it worth it or not? Or did I waste all my money? Or would you waste all your money if you tried it? Thank you guys for tuning in to another one of my videos. And I'll see you on the next one.